Hey guys, you guys probably know me from my massive amount of alcohol marker reviews over at netosoup.blogspot.com. And today I wanted to do a little PSA about testing and owning various types of alcohol markers. You might think that the dream is to own just Copic markers, but there are loads of great markers and marker colors that are available on the market that uh, perform just as well as Copics or perform better in certain areas. And I just wanted to kind of chat with you guys today about those. Now, in the past, I've talked to you guys about the Blick Studio Brush Markers. I am a huge advocate for these. If you're just starting an alcohol marker collection, these are a fantastic way to do it. They're very affordable and they perform very similar to, similarly to Copics. And you guys can check out my review of these as well as several videos featuring these here on my YouTube channel, or you can head on over to natasoup.blogspot.com and check out my, re my in-depth review and demonstration on these, as well as links to recommended colors to get your collection started. Another fantastic alternative would be Prismacolor markers. And I know people kind of turn their nose up at these because a lot of people do start with these because they're very easily available. You can get them at Michael's. You can get them at your local homegrown art supply shop like David's Art Supply in New Orleans. You can get them through big box art supply stores like Jerry's Artorama, Plaza, or Dick Blick. There is nothing wrong with these. These are great, especially now that they offer a brush tip that is new in the past four years. So some of you guys have never known Prismacolors that didn't have a brush tip. The only problem is if you don't like bullet nibs, the brush tip does come with a bullet nib. And um, I recommend even having a few of their not brush tips in your collection because their chisel nib, which I don't have on hand, but their chisel nib is one of the best chisel nibs I have ever seen on an alcohol marker. Some other great alternatives, if you can find them, would be Neo Pico 2s. These were sent to, me my, sent to me by my really good friend, Kabocha. And I really recommend you guys head on over to Kabocha's site because Kabocha makes these amazing Photoshop and Clip Studio paint brushes that are based off of uh, manga and shoujo tones. So if you're a comic artist and you like free Photoshop resources, you should definitely check those out. But she sent these to me a while back and I finally gotten around to processing them and they are refillable and they're very, very similar to Copic markers. Some other alcohol markers that may hit your radar are the Windsor and Newton alcohol markers. They have brush markers as well as, gotta dig one up. Wow. Apparently all I have are their brush markers right now. Anyway, they make, they purchase Letraset, rather Cole Arts, the parent company of Windsor Newton, purchased Letraset. So they are, these are actually Letraset markers. So if you have a collection of Letrasets and you'd like to continue that collection of Letrasets, you can purchase the Windsor Newton brush markers. And I have a review of these over at natosoup.blogspot.com as well. And these might be a good alternative, but like the Prisma colors, they are not refillable. Uh, here, here's the Pro Marker. As you can see, it has a bullet nib and a chisel nib. I'm not a big fan of uh, bullet nib markers personally. There's also the fantastic Shinhan Twin Touch. And these used to be my most recommended marker before Blick released their Studio Brush Marker. These are refillable. This is a Korean company. Um, you want to be careful because a lot of the Chinese knockoffs that are not refillable and are not do not perform as well as the Shinhan Twin Touches use the touch name. They are not touch markers. And pretty much if you find it on AliExpress, it's probably not a touch marker. And I would be really suspect about anything on Amazon as well. And those are, to be honest, a bit harder to find. You absolutely must buy from AliExpress. And I know for some of you, you think that is the only option for alcohol markers. I do recommend these specific markers. I have reviewed like five different types of alcohol markers from AliExpress and my budget just cannot deal with any more bullet tip kind of garbagey markers. But these double line markers are the way to go. They have a brush tip, they have a chisel tip, 
You could probably refill them. I don't know if you can. I picked up the 48 color set because it was a really good deal. Um, I think I paid like $1.50 per marker and I don't have an official review for these, but I do recommend them and I can demonstrate them if enough of you guys show an interest. So that is just a few of the many, many alcohol markers I have reviewed and a few of the markers that I can actually recommend. I hope you guys found that useful. Now, if you do have a mixed collection, there are various ways you guys can organize that mixed collection. I have a set of little drawers that I got from the container store that contain pretty much only my Copics. And on top of that, a little clear drawer that contains my Copic wides. And I would show you guys, but that would mean dismantling my camera. I also have two of those art satchels that contain my Prismacolor markers and my Shin Han and my Winsor & Newton art markers. So I have all of my marker collection fairly close by. I also have some of these little Le Plume fine brush markers. These are alcohol based and they have a teeny tiny fiber brush and these are great for adding really small details on my marker illustrations. You guys have seen me use those. And I have a Copic book. It's actually a few years now. I got it in 2012. And um, I put in stickers of the color. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. I'm gonna want to begin with sticker paper. I do recommend matte, but I don't have any more matte. So I'm using my photo glossy. And you're going to wanna basically sort your markers into color families. And I do that based on the Copic color system. So first thing I do is I do a swatch of the color. And if it has a chisel nib, I do the chisel nib. Um, but if it's a brush nib like this, you really just want to get it in a straight line like that with very little overlap. Zoom in. And then you're going to want to use an alcohol proof marker, which I need to grab, like a Sakura Micron or a Copic Multiliner to label. And I recommend using black just so that the color doesn't influence the marker color and that way it'll make it easier to find when you're looking for it. 0.5 micron will work just dandy. So we're going to want to write down the actual number. So it's PB51 as well as the color name Violet Dark. And I'm gonna do that for all three of the markers I just swatched. This is P B one two seven. And I have to say that Copic definitely falls short in the purples and yellows department. And so I really love augmenting it with um, Prismacolors, the Blick Studio brush markers, and the Shin Han Twin Touches. So Copic is absolutely not a perfect solution, and I highly, highly recommend you have a mixed collection for best results. And it's also just more affordable. All right, so that is our three Prismacolors. Now I'm going to demonstrate swatching with something that has a chisel nib. So we're doing it straight across. It's a nice dark blue color. It's navy blue. And then I write the Blick, well, I'm gonna do it on top. The Blick Studio color on top of it. And I'm pretty much just going to do that with any new markers I get. So what I tend to do um, if I'm sort of in a busy time period is I will put all of my new marker acquisitions together in a box and then I will process them like this in batch. So I'm going to finish processing the rest and I will check back in with you guys with our next step.
All right, we've got all of our markers swatched. The next step is to cut these out. And all we're really looking for is a small square that contains all of the relevant information. So I'm going to cut all of these out. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to take a moment to give a little plug for my sponsor. So my sponsor is Ink Drop Cafe, which is a collective for creators, myself included. I am a member and an affiliate. And right now our big focus is on web comics. So if you love web comics, if you like reading comics for free, you should go check out Ink Drop Cafe at inkdropcafe.com and uh, read through some of our comics comics and definitely let our members know if you enjoy what they write and if you're looking to make conversation either about drawing or about comics themselves you can also visit us in our discord or over on our forum and you can find all of those links um, you can find the initial ink drop cafe link in the description below but from ink drop cafe you should find links to everything else and I think you guys will really enjoy that. We have a wide variety of fantastic web comics. We have Spider Silk. We have Ellie of the Stars. We have my comic, Seven Inch Kara. We have Kabocha's comic, Linked. We have Gale Bound. And we just welcomed two new members into, no, three new members of our collect, into our collective. So there is Peter Pan, the manga, which is new to our collective. There is the Angel with Black Wings, which is new to our collective. And there is Fate, which is also new to the collective. So we are expanding and growing. And I think the next thing we're going to do is add some new affiliates, of which this YouTube, YouTube channel is already an affiliate. But hopefully we'll add even more amazing affiliates. So we will continue to grow and continue to provide some amazing art and art related content so i hope you guys will head on over there and check it out and let us know what you think and maybe you can come grow with us and i have just one more to cut out green tomato it's a blick studio color it's kind of a lime green Now, next thing we're going to do is the Copic color book. You can make your own color book, but the Copic color book is already divided into color families. And as you guys can see, I have some stickers in there. So I'm just going to sort my little color stickers into families and apply them to the correct page. It's a little bit like having a sticker book. Oh, apparently I already have lime. So that is one. I will be sending to Kabocha. Now, something I do need to warn you guys about is some of these markers will discolor over time on this kind of paper, like spring green, which is why I recommended, I'm using photo glossy sticker paper because that's what I have, but that's why I recommend you use a matte sticker paper that isn't a photo sticker paper it's less likely to have an adverse reaction with your paper. So I'm just going to flip through. Now dandelion is a really nice yellow in the Opico. Like I said, Copic can be a little weak in the yellow department. So if you're looking for some strong, true yellows, Neopico 2's dandelion is great. Shin Han's uh, Y221 primary yellow is great. Um, there's also, I believe it's a Blick. No, I guess I have two primary yellows. But uh, 014 in Blick is great, and 009 as well as 063. Since I was talking about Copic not having particularly strong yellows, I do enjoy augmenting my collection of yellows. Because I don't care about having a 
perfect color family, a perfect collection. I care about having a collection that is useful to me. So I'm just going to go through each color family and put in the stickers that fall into that category. And since we were talking about purples, I can recommend Imperial Violet, Violet Dark, and navy blue is almost, it's so dark, it's almost a blue purple if you're looking for a good blue purple. But Prismacolor has some great true purples. And this book is really helpful because I don't have all of my all of my markers in one container so I can reference my little flip book and see what I have or I can put this in my bag when I'm going out to the art supply store but I always forget to do that and see by flipping through what I do and do not have in my marker collection which kind of helps prevent duplicates oh there's like no room for this. Barely squeak it on. Honestly, coffee kind of belongs on here as well because it is a, a brown orange. I hope you guys found this video helpful, useful, and informative. I hope I have inspired you to look beyond Copics and collect a variety of alcohol markers since there are some really great colors out there that Copic kind of doesn't cater to. And I hope I've shown you guys a couple of organization solutions that will help prevent you from acquiring duplicates the way I seem to. So if you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments below. Consider leaving a like to encourage me to make more like this and definitely consider subscribing to my channel for more great art related content. I hope you guys have a great day and I hope you'll check out both Ink Drop Cafe and natosoup.blogspot.com for loads of art information. I'll see you guys again really soon. Bye guys.